Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete Azure Kubernetes cluster using Terraform. I have logged into my Azure account, a Kubernetes services. So we don't have any AKS cluster currently in my account. So we are going to use Terraform to create the Azure Kubernetes cluster. So let's review the documentation for that. Uh, so this is the documentation for the Azure RM Kubernetes cluster. So we need to create a resource group and then we need to create the Kubernetes cluster. So we need to specify all these parameters. These are some of the things are mandatory parameters. Like we need to specify the default node pool, the VM size and the identity. So tags are optional. If required, we can get the client certificate and the kube config as an output. But in our demo, I am going to show you how we will be able to get the kube config in a local file and then use that to access the uh, Azure Kubernetes cluster from the local system. I am going to use the Visual Studio Code Editor for adding the Terraform configuration files. Terraform expects all the files to have the .tf extension. You can see already I have a providers.tf file. So here I have added the information about the required providers. So in this case, I have added the definition for two providers. One is Azure RM, the other one is a local because I'm going to get the cube config information into a local file so that that can be used to access the Kubernetes cluster from our local system. And also in the provider section, you can see uh, I have added all the necessary credentials. You can refer to my previous video on creating a service principle to see how you can register an application and then generate all the required credentials which are required by Terraform to access the Azure to create the resources. I'm going to add a new file main.tf. So where we are going to first create the resource group. This for AKS, so I'm just going to give the name as AKS. The name of the resource group, I'm going to give it as AKS RG. And the location, I'll give it as SQS. So we have added the necessary information for creating a resource group. So the next resource is going to be the Kubernetes cluster. Cluster. So we'll give it as the same name. So we need to give the name of name for the cluster. So I'm going to call it as AKS cluster. And the location. So we'll get the location from the resource group the resource group name then we need to give the dns prefix so i'm going to give it as aks cluster and then we need to give the node information default node pool so we'll get the name as default then we need to give the node count so just for the demo purpose i'm going to create a kubernetes cluster with the node count as one and then we need to specify the vm size so for that i'm going to use standard v2 v2 so next we need to specify the identity we'll specify the identity type as system assigned okay so now we have added the necessary information for create an azure rm kubernetes cluster so now how do we access this kubernetes cluster from the local system for that there are multiple options one using the azure cli you'll be able to get the credentials and use it um, so i'm going to show you a different option so where we are going to get the output of this uh, Kubernetes cluster, the kube config file into a local file, and then we will use that local file to access the Kubernetes cluster. So for that, we need to add the resource, the local file, and I'll give the name as kube config. So 
so the content content is going to be the cube configure information and the file name I'm going to give the name as cube config okay so we have added the necessary information for the local file block also so let's save the changes the ch changes have been saved now let's do a terraform in it so it's finding both the providers and it's installing the hashicorp local provider and then it's installing the azure rm provider terraform init is successful now let's do a terraform format so both the files are formatted now let's do a terraform validate to validate the configuration the configuration is valid now let's execute the terraform plan the terraform plan actually creates an execution plan which provides information on what all resources will be created deleted or updated when terraform apply command is executed our terraform uses the tf state file which has the information about the existing environment configuration it compares with that with the new configuration request and creates an execution plan Clearly, you can see it is going to create three resources. One is a Kubernetes cluster. So the plus sign indicates it is going to create the resource. The second one is a resource group. And the third one is a local file kubeconfig. You can clearly see plan three to add. Just going to add three resources. Now let us execute Terraform apply. Terraform apply also creates an execution plan and it asks for the approval. Let's provide the approval. It has created the resource group and now it is creating the Kubernetes cluster. It has successfully created the Azure Kubernetes cluster as well as the kubeconfig file. So we can see the kubeconfig file here. Now let us move this kubeconfig file So now we have successfully moved the cube config file under the dot cube folder and rename the file as a config file. So now we should be able to access the Kubernetes cluster for the local system. Let's confirm that. So we have created a single node cluster and we could see the name of the node here. Let's see the deployments in all namespaces. So we could see the deployments is available only in the cube system namespace. Now let's go and validate this in the portal. Let's refresh. So we could see the new cluster which we which we created now using Terraform click workloads we could see all of the four deployments which we saw even in the terminal now let us go and delete all the resources which we created now using the terraform destroy as expected terraform display also creates an execution plan here you can see it is going to destroy the resource. The minus sign indicates it's going to destroy, delete the resource. So it is going to delete two resources uh, because the cube config file already we have moved to a different location. So it is not available in the current location. So it is going to destroy the remaining two resources and it is asking for the approval. Let's provide the approval. Destroying the Azure Kubernetes cluster. So it has successfully destroyed the resource group as well. Let's go and validate that in the Azure portal. Fresh. The Azure Kubernetes cluster has been successfully deleted. Let's go and validate the resource group also. Yeah, the resource group, the AKS hyphen RG also has been successfully deleted. In this demo, we have seen how to create and delete Azure Kubernetes cluster using Terraform.
also we have seen how to get the azure kubernetes cluster to configure information into a local file and use that to access the azure kubernetes cluster from the local system if you like this video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo